Okay. As far as the final decision is concerned, it was not really a surprise because uh, about six months ago when uh, the Pope, Pope Francesco, he, uh, he created this commission of six cardinals to take care of the whole globe. Uh, and then he nominated uh, Cardinal Melli to be one of his consigliere as uh, North America. I mean, our petition was already in, our appeal was already in, but when we heard this, we said, we're doomed. This ain't gonna happen. In the year 2000, there were 400 parishes. When reconfiguration was announced in May of 2004, there were 357. Today there are 290 parishes and by 2016 when they finish this ongoing round of pastoral planning this archdiocese will have gone from 400 parishes down to 125. We have finished the legal process. There's no higher level because we have an unusual pope these days in a good way I think. I'm suggesting that a direct supplica, a petition, an appeal, be sent directly to the Holy Father, laying out politely but clearly the real story of what has happened in this archdiocese. Because these cases move individual case by individual case. But I'm of the view that we should put on the desk of a Monsignor who reads these things and then passes them on to the Pope, maybe. We should put on the record not just the injustice that's been done to the Catholics of East Boston, but to the massive failure of this archdiocese. And therefore, we are respectfully requesting that His Holiness intervene to reverse the decree of deconsecration of this church.